Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading for my dearest Aries. Aries, we're going to take a look at who's coming towards you in love and if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Aries for their highest and greatest good. All right, so we have the Page of Swords coming through already. This person might already be spying on you. Some of you, they could be an air sign. They could be a little bit younger than you, but we'll see if we get any confirmation. All right, the Six of Pentacles, beautiful Aries. This is someone who is, you know, I feel is gonna fill in all your gaps here. The Six of Pentacles is, you know, what you're looking for is also looking for you. I feel, it, feel this is a very healthy, balanced energy. Ooh, Aries, some of you, you know this person through work, but I'm also getting that um, with the three of pentacles here that you two are very compatible. And I'm also seeing that you're both single. So I'm not seeing that you have to worry about third party energy. Ooh, and a lot of you, the four of wands, this is someone you're going to end up marrying or being in a higher level of commitment with. Pay attention to the number sequence 1111. I feel like you're protected here. I feel like this is going to be a very celebratory, you know, fun, exciting relationship. I, I see friends and family being very happy for both of you. And we get strength cards. So this person could be a Leo. Ooh, so we might have a very fiery, passionate connection here, Aries. So your physical attraction is also going to be fire, okay? But this person is Page of Swords. It's like this person might have been single for a while and they've just sort of decided that they want to start dating again. All right, the Page of Swords tells me it could be an online connection, um, but I also feel this person might be spying on you, so you could have a secret admirer here, my dear Aries. All right, and we get the World card. Some of you, you two are very different from one another, different backgrounds, race, religions, traditions. Um, I also see, too, there could be distance between you two, so again, it could be an online connection. They could just be in a different city, state, or country. We do have the Queen of Wands energy in reverse. So this is a little bit of a heads up though, all right, Aries, because this person, although I do feel like they're single, um, you know, there could be some unfinished business here with a third party. So that could indicate that they're co-parenting with somebody who's kind of, I kind of get annoying. Um, but I also feel too, they could be co-parenting with someone. Mm, there could be somebody who's after this person's attention or, or, you know, maybe even somebody who's kind of obsessed with this person, Aries. Yeah, we get the sun card, but I feel like with the sun card, it really won't matter as soon as they meet you. Like, I'm not getting that this person's a player, but I do feel there could be like, I don't know if this is an ex kicking around. Again, it doesn't feel like they're still sleeping with this person or anything, but it, it could be somebody who causes some drama. Now, it could also certainly be like an overbearing parent or sibling friend or cousin or something like that somebody who you know maybe enjoys the single life and enjoys being single with their best friend here right or something along those lines so let's see clear messages advice and guidance what else do we need to know about this person how else will my aries be able to identify this person they could be a little bit older or a little bit younger than you this card says 10 plus years but i kind of feel this is like six plus years right Ooh, yeah, you've got twin soul energy. So double confirmation of that with the four of wands, a mirror of yourself. This is a connection that intends for you both to balance your feminine and masculine energies and evolve your soul. And this person, yeah, I think this person has been in a passive energy, Aries, um, maybe because they had a, they had a rough breakup or because of whatever this third party energy is. Um, but that does certainly all change with you. And this person's going to be very funny, fun and lighthearted. The laughter you share is going to bond you. It's going to alleviate stress. Yes. All right. Let's take a look and see what else we need to know about this person. Six of Pentacles tells me they're very balanced. They're very grounded. For a lot of you, this is exactly what you've been looking for. Um, yeah. I feel like this person is going to probably, like, they're going to take it kind of slow, Aries, is what I'm getting. Like, you, you might at first, I mean, I think there's a strong physical attraction, but I'm also getting, like, at first, you might be like, does this person just, like, want to be friends? Like, they're going to be very funny, but they're also going to really focus on the other stuff, like, other than the physical is what I'm getting. Like, they might even invite you out for a coffee date, um, you know, before, you know, before 
asking you out on like something a bit more romantic just to see if you two are compatible. But I kind of like this energy because this is somebody who does want to build and grow. They want something solid and secure. Some of you, they're retired. So we get double confirmation. This person could be a little bit older than you or there's an age difference. Now, that doesn't have to be the case. I know I'm connecting with a lot of you and a lot of you are like, oh no, I don't want someone 65 years older or plus. And some of you do. And whatever you want or wherever you are in life, that's completely okay. Um, but what I'm seeing here with this retired card is this is somebody who really does prioritize their personal time. Maybe they have more flexibility in their schedule. Okay, so again, take it how it resonates. This person's non-conformist. Some of you, they retired early, so they might have done very well for themselves, like doing something like real estate or you know, something that allowed them to retire early. But this person definitely marches to the beat of their own drum, Aries. I think you're going to appreciate that. And they are a heartbreaker. Yeah. And that could be that Queen of Wands energy in reverse. I kind of feel like this person does get a lot of attention, but I kind of feel they've taken themselves out of the dating game for a bit. But I would I would beware, you know, not and it's not really even beware because I'm not getting that you can't trust this person. I just feel like they're they're pretty hot, right? And there are a few people that are after them. And again, there might be somebody there that you know really is after them. So just just be aware. Some of you you're gonna meet through friends, and again, some of you you're gonna you know they're gonna get your social media from your friends because you know people think you two are gonna be be a very good match all right so I like this energy Aries let's see and again like I said they could be a little bit older or a little bit younger than what you you know what you normally go for or, or whom you've dated in the past so for my Aries how else will they identify this person they already know who you are so some of you this person's already checking you out checking out your social media um, maybe you've met this person in passing. Again, if you're online or you're doing dating apps, they've probably checked you out a few times. They spend their money quickly. It does feel like they have money to spend. They met you more than a year ago. So a lot of you, there's this energy here of this person already knowing who you are. And they like to use their middle name. So they could hyphenate their name. It could be their first and their middle name. Um, or maybe they just go by their middle name. And this person has lived in more than one country, so it seems like they're well-traveled or maybe they go to work for other, you know, in other countries and things like that. All right, let's see. What else do my Aries need to know about this connection or this person rather? All right, so they could have some gray in their hair. Oh, sorry, in their hair. Interesting. Some of you, they have some gray in their hair. Their eye color could be light blue, green, or gray. Again, remember specific attributes are not going to resonate with all of you, and that's okay. It doesn't mean it's not your reading, but they will be confirmation for some of you. All right, and this person is fit. They're health conscious. They may be a bit of a gym rat, and they're tall. All right, and they're, ooh, you're going to feel safe and secure with this person. They're reliable. They're dependable. They're committed. You're going to really trust this energy. I don't know about you, Aries, but they sound pretty fantastic. And I feel like that's what you deserve. I mean, I do feel like you two are going to be a perfect match here with the three of pentacles and the six of pentacles here. Um, you two are very compatible. Again, you both might, you could meet at the gym. You know, it might be somebody who's been checking you out for a while. Um, but you guys like to do the same things here. All right. What else do they like about my Aries? Ace of Swords. They want, they're ready for a fresh start. They also like that you speak your mind. The Ace of Swords is like, you'll, you'll, you'll tell it to, tell it to people, you know, you'll tell it like it is, right? They see you as honest and trustworthy and direct and that, and they're not going to be put off by that at all. All right. And we see the Knight of Pentacles and you too, you're, you're also a little bit of, um, well, I'm, I was going to say heartbreaker, but I'm also seeing here like a little bit of a nonconformist, like you do things your way. You know, you're not so concerned about what other people think about you, how other people feel about what you're doing. And we see the five of pentacles here. So I do feel like, you know, there's been some considerable disappointment in love. Maybe some of my Aries, again, maybe you've recently sort of felt a little disappointed by the options available to you. Or maybe you've recently been through a breakup and some of you, your friends are going to be hooking you up with this person. <laughs> All right. I love it. Let's see what else they love about my Aries, please. What else do they love about my Aries, please? All right, we see hermit energy. Some of you, you have been in hermit mode. I mean, we are in Virgo season, so we're all a little bit more prone to going within, focusing on our health and health and our wellness. 
Um, but this person likes that you seek solitude to focus intently on your inner life and to maybe to be creative as well. So they, they don't mind that you might need a little bit of alone time, but this is also an energy of wisdom. Um, and again, maybe you're a little bit older than this person um, because for some of you, there is going to be a bit of an age gap. But it doesn't matter. They really like this about you. They see you as wise. They see you as patient. They see you as a planner. And they also see you as an angel. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. So you help those in need with no expectation of return. Yeah. So they just see you as a really good person. And they're going to tell you they feel like you've been sent from above, Aries, just for them. All right. And we also see rebel. See, this is the energy I was picking up on here. We see that this person is a nonconformist, and I was getting that they also really like that about you. So that you're a bit rebellious, that you'll challenge authority, you'll speak your mind, you're not going to let anybody push you around. And, and of course, that's what we all love about Aries, right? Your beautiful, fiery, passionate, you know, warrior type energy, not warrior, warrior, like as in spiritual warrior. All right, five of, uh, five of wands, four of wands energy tells me that a lot of you, this will go to a higher level of commitment. Everything happens for a reason. So again, some of you have recently experienced a disappointment. You're going to know why, because there's definitely divine guidance here. Wow, spirit saying true love. This is an emotional, physical, and unconditional connection. And some distance will help bring you clarity. Some of you, you know, this could be somebody you're taking a break from. We're not going to write that off, even though my intentions for these readings are that it is completely brand new, but that it will resonate with some of you that you might be on a break or a time apart. Or maybe you met this person a while back and, you know, things didn't, you know, life got in the way, right? Um, we also see at the bottom of the deck here, yeah, there's a new love or a recommitment. So guys, let me know in the description box down below if you know who I'm talking about or not. Um, if you don't, don't worry. I'm going to pull some cards and see about timing. Anything else my Aries need to know about this person or this connection, please? I, I feel really good in this reading, actually. Honest communication. Yeah, so you two, this is what's going to really bond you two. I mean, I feel like you're both going to, you're going to get each other, but you're also going to really be able to talk about pretty much anything openly and honestly uh-oh spirit saying divine timing and the reason i say uh-oh is because oftentimes when i get this card in these readings we get dates that are all over the place so it's going to be unexpected or a serendipitous event that brings you two together any important dates here for my aries please in this connection any important dates for my aries and this connection in the coming months and try again a little later. There is something here about maybe uh, like a stop and a start here within this connection. Of course, it's not gonna be for all of you, but it is unfolding in the next coming or couple of months. All right, I'm gonna leave it here. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, my dear Aries. Take care.